Um, super excited to be welcoming, welcoming Manesh Baxi, my friend, uh, to present at Referraltopia today. As a 10X certified Grant Cardone coach, Manesh coaches small business owners who are tired of working too many hours and are eager, eager to scale by building a winning team. He's been an entrepreneur for most of his life. He's passionate about sharing what he's learned to help others advance in their business with endless prospects. Manesh has many multi-million dollar income clients who take advantage of his sales coaching expertise, and he looks forward to giving us a new tool today to help increase our success in referral marketing and SiriusNet and relationship building in general. I also wanted to add that I hired Manesh many years ago to coach me through doing Referraltopia online. Uh, prior to the pandemic, we did everything in person, and I still wanted to be bringing people together, even when we couldn't do it in person. And Manesh provided me such valuable coaching to make Referraltopia a doable enterprise online. He was my wingman for the first Referraltopia online, and I'm proud to have him present today. Let's put our hands together and welcome Manesh Boxley, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Steve is putting together a great program, and I respect Steve tremendously. The way I met Steve was people told me, more than one person said, you should meet Steve, you should meet Steve, you should meet Steve. So eventually, during the COVID pandemic breakdown, we met at Panera Bread uh, on Telegraph and 12 Mile Road, correct? Is that correct memory for me? Good memory. And since then, he left Michigan, I left Michigan. So <laughs> we both are in different warm places. He's in Arizona, beautiful place, Sierra Vista. And I was lucky enough to visit him in uh, May 1st, 2nd, April 30th is I think when we landed there and spent some fun time with him, Eva, uh, his, ma his mom, Mary and Paris, correct? Had a good time, right? So anyway, my goal is very simple. I'll keep this very simple, very easy for us to remember because in 20 minutes, it's hard to give too much content and then it gets too jumbled up. So my goal is very simple. I want you to leave with one simple idea. And once you understand this idea, you can apply this today right now without needing too much training if you don't want to. Some of you might already be using some of these concepts. Great, fantastic, keep doing it. If you need any fine tuning, I'll give you an opportunity to apply that idea in a way that you can walk away, making sure that you are getting results. So first of all, how many here are already members of CirrusNet? Okay, most of you. Who is not a member of CirrusNet? Raise your left hand just so that I can see. Okay, great. You have a great opportunity to join uh, SiriusNet. You can talk to Steve or the person who invited you and who, whoever is the facilitator of your group as well. I'll be using a slideshow, but here's the first thing I want you to remember. Most of us have struggled in life. Anybody else <laughs> not struggle? <laughs> like I've struggled in life, right? I was born in a very poor family in India. We were five children. We had one bicycle to share among seven people. Seven, uh, seven of us lived in one big room, one kitchen. We had outdoor plumbing pretty much. Basically, so when people say, Manish, uh, would you like to go out camping? I'm like, I did that for 25 years. I don't need to do that anymore. And the reason specifically I mentioned is those things that we got programmed at a young age stop us. I know Penny was talking about life coaching and we have other people who are talking about other things as well. It's like money mindset is one of the things we struggle with. We also struggle with the mindset in general of being successful. Now, Penny mentioned that we see the world as we are. Let me add one more point to it. We are not even aware of how we see ourselves. Is that making sense to you what I'm talking about? Like we don't even know that. And sometimes when I was talking to somebody yesterday who I coach and I realized that she doesn't know how she sees herself. And it is hard to have that conversation. So wherever you are in life, fantastic, no problems. There's always somebody that you can reach out to who can help you. If you need some mindset and some other training, maybe Penny or somebody can help you out and that's fantastic. Go to the person, but here is the part. You and I need to learn from somebody who can help us. Because somebody has the tool, somebody has the knowledge. If they have better results, like Kim obviously helps people get in their college dress sizes, right? You know what I'm saying? So if you got somebody looking for that, guess what? You know, that is exactly what you can help, get help on doing that. So what I want to cover for you today is a very simple concept. Now, how many of you at different points struggle with getting clients? So like getting clients is not always easy, not always fun, right? Anybody? Those who didn't raise the hand, let me see. <laughs> okay, you don't struggle, struggle with getting clients. But the reason I mentioned that is we all are very good at what we do. Would you all agree that you are really, really good at what you do? And if people got a sense of what you can do to impact their life, 
Like Dr. Michael Berry, I'm sure he can help people improve their spine. One of the subluxations remove that. But not only that, he can improve people's health in a number of different ways by moving the disease, right? So he is an expert at what he does. But the challenge for most of us is we are not trained on how to actually reach out to people, communicate to them in a way that they build that bond with us. Would you all agree with what I'm talking about? Like that is typical. I coached a lot of one of my first clients was a chiropractor, right? And this was a family of chiropractors, brothers, husband, father, everybody was a chiropractor, right? But the challenge for most people is like, do I have a process in place? So what I want to do is cover a few slides with you. And I might skip a few slides here and there just to keep in time and respect what we have here today as well. So give me a second. Let me get to the slide here. Okay, sorry, sometimes I need help. <laughs> okay. So I was a computer programmer and uh, I was fired. Now anybody else don't have to raise hand, right? You were fired and then, you know, it's like that happens, right? I was not in a good place. Why? Though I had a bachelor's and a master's, engineering degrees and everything else, I didn't enjoy my profession. What I like to do is what I'm doing today. Share with my ideas, talk to people, engage with people. That's what I enjoy. Sitting at a desk, computer programming, not my strength. I could do it, but not really enjoy it. My mission is very simple. I want to help at least a thousand entrepreneurs become millionaires. And I want to mention very simply, some of you are already maybe on that process. Some of you are millionaires already. Fantastic. Keep up the good work. But the fundamental for every entrepreneur should be initially when you're starting out is, hey, let me make at least 10,000 a month and let me put aside $100,000 that I do not touch. This is not for buying a house, buying a car, vacation, et cetera, because that 100,000 will give you peace of mind when the market goes down, you don't get as many clients, things are not working out the way you are. It'll give you that source of strength to say, hey, I got something. And then keep scaling the business from there to where you want to be. I have well over a couple of hundred clients who are millionaires and stuff, one of my best friends, and I'll show that picture to you as well. I was born in Agra, by the way. Some of you may know Taj Mahal, which is where Agra is, where Taj Mahal is located. And I have published different books, Stop Hiring Losers, Million Dollar Team Secrets, Network Your Way to $100,000 and Beyond. And also my daughter, Macy, some of you know her. Uh, we are publishing a new book called Seven Critical Career Skills They Don't Teach in School. It's almost done editing. So it's a matter of time before we release it as well. So here are some of the people that I've been mentored by. I call them friends. One is Grant Cardone very successful uh, billionaire, Bob Berg, the author of the book, uh, Go Giver. I actually brought him to speak in uh, Michigan from Florida. Rick Ruby, very successful person. You may not believe it, but he makes like $20 million a year, right? Fantastic guy, worth well over $100 million. Close friend of mine, fantastic. He's going to have an event that I'll be uh, going there as an expert. Now, I've been lucky enough to enjoy a good life because even though I had to start from scratch, I was able to use some of the systems I'm going to talk about in order for me to be build some benefit. Referrals, networking was my number one strength always. In fact, even just one person has referred me well over a million dollars in the last so many years. Why? Because you build deep connections with people. I've been to Disney World over a couple of hundred times with my family. Uh, not just Disney World is that respect, but you know, the more idea is spending time together as a family. So I don't believe in working hard and then not having time with the family. I've been homeschooling my children, so I have an impact, influence in their lives on a daily basis. My wife, we have been married for 31 plus years. The reason I say that is you don't have to sacrifice, right? So I want to give you some incredible ideas. You can go make money today. And then I want to make an invitation to you so you and I can learn about each other, work together. Most important, find ways to get your business to the next level. So here's the bottom line. The biggest reason you're not getting clients despite working hard we want to tell you how to solve that problem, okay? So you are great at what you do. Unfortunately, times you may see that the door gets slammed on you. You don't even get an opportunity to explain what you do. I mean, how many of you have had that happen? It's like, you know you can help them, but people are not paying attention to you. It's like, how do I get their attention in the first place, right? Okay, and then what happens? Our dreams, our lifestyle is on hold. It's like, hey, I want to do this for my family. I want to save money for retirement. And being in Florida and also knowing so many people, I'll tell you, there are so many people in their 60s, even 70s, who do not have enough to retire, who are not planning life, who are not living the life that they would have planned on living, right? So let me ask you, what is it costing you to not have that door open for you? Is it costing you $100,000, a million dollars? And if you're open enough to say something, put it in the chat. Nothing wrong with it. Here is what it is. You and I need to be aware. 
For example, in my case, most of my business in the last few years came from real estate agents and loan officers. How many of you know what happened to that market? Half a million real estate agents are leaving the business this year. 70,000 loan officers are leaving the business this year. I was talking to my friend yesterday who made $2 million in real estate last year. He's with the EXP Realty in San Antonio. He said, Minesh, loan officers, sorry, uh, real estate agents are going and doing solar sales and everything else. So my income dropped as well. So I had to re reinvent myself to find new markets to do that. And what I want you to know is that, hey, if you have a process in place, you can still have income coming in. And that's one of the things that you have to be aware of. What if we could have that master key to open that door? How would that make you feel, right? Today, I want to show you that master key because if you apply that today, and if you are creative enough, you will be able to find the money even today if you wanted to. And I would like to give you an opportunity to actually use my input, use some of the technology that I have so that you can be faster making the money. So let's go to the next part. What is the main reason why prospects do not buy, even if you are the expert? So take a look at the picture here. And most of you, how many of you can see a scary bridge, right? <laughs> like, and that person, I don't know how this person is going to cross, right? But here is what it is. When a prospect is looking at you, your product, your service, they see a scary bridge from them to you, from their problem to the solution. You're like, hey, come on, let me help you. I can do that for you. Except they don't see that. Prospects, when they're talking to other companies, which has a lot of business like Amazon, they see a fast lane highway from their problem to the solution. So the question that you and I need to ask is, if you're getting a lot of clients, then they see a highway. But if you are not getting a client, the prospect in their mind, in their vision, whatever they're seeing is that scary bridge that they don't want to take the next step. So what should we do? Well, we create an offer. Your offer is the bridge between the prospect and you, the problem that they're experiencing and the solution you can provide. And once you understand that offer is the bridge and without that bridge, they cannot become your client, you and I have an opportunity to create an offer that will dramatically change their life. It will dramatically improve the chances of you getting a client because that's what you are. You're providing something that they don't have, but they don't see the bridge. Now, you may have an offer, but unfortunately, if people are not acting on it quickly, then it is not the right offer. See, your offer determines how quickly you get paid clients, right? This is the most important step and the first thing you should work on. In 23 years of coaching with people and everything else, I wish I had, and also everybody I've worked with, had emphasized the need of a clear, compelling, irresistible offer because that's the number one fundamental which will give you the business. In fact, let me show you a couple of things. If you understand the irresistible concept of the offer, your prospect sees and say, hey, I would be a, it would be a no-brainer to do business with you. Now, whenever you bought something, I promise you at some point you looked at it as irresistible. You were like, oh, that car, I should buy it. That extra on the car, I should buy it. That house, you bought it. At some point, that offer became irresistible for you, which is why you acted. You went to the restaurant, bought the food. It became irresistible for you. So here is what it is. Make an offer that is so good that the prospect feels stupid. I know Steve uses the word silly, so which is you know better word to use maybe. Make an offer that is so good that the prospect feels stupid saying no. That is exactly what you and I need to work on. And you can work on it now. You don't have to wait for somebody else to come and tell you. But obviously it helps to get some input to make something better because market research will always help you, right? So the question for you is, what is the offer? And then are people taking you up on that offer and acting quickly to start working with you? If the answer is yes, you are great. If the answer is no, Minesh, I should be able to improve it. Great. Let me help you and let's get some concepts very clear on what that could do for you. See, if people are not taking you up on your offer, it is not effective. And as I say, know the truth. Truth will set you free, right? Because I've had clients. And have people who tell me, Vinesh, I have a great offer. I said, how many people take you up on it? Not many. They don't understand it. It's like, then it's not a great offer. You see, that is the reality. Clients determine whether your offer is effective or not. Whenever I make it, and I can be, I have made offers, then I've got zero crickets. What did that tell me? I thought the offer was great, but the clients didn't see that offer as great, which means what? 
I have some homework to do. And whether you're talking to a prospect, whether you're talking to a referral partner, doesn't matter. You still need to have an offer that is gonna be effective for people. <clears throat> so there are two offers that you should have, minimum. Lead magnet is the one which initiates conversation. Now, some of you may know the word lead magnet already, some of you may not. All it is, is a point of contact which makes it easy for your prospect to take that first step across the bridge, the first step, right? So however that is, that lead magnet says, hey, you know what, I can move forward. Without the lead magnet, the conversation does not start. The second is the core offer. This is what makes you the most money. And you and I need to be aware of that because this is the one we need to make sure at the end makes our job of selling a lot, lot easier as well. So here are the three steps to make more money. I don't care who you go to talk to and everything else. They will give you all kinds of advice. Make a webinar, make a landing page, make this, that, everything. Here is what it is. It boils down to only three things. Have a well-defined niche. We'll explain that in a second. Have an irresistible offer. And then your job is put your offer in front of as many people as possible in your niche every day. That's it. There is no other sales process. Like it doesn't have to be complicated. Oh, I need to have a funnel with this, this, and no, no, don't worry about it. If you're in front of your niche with the right irresistible offer, you will make money. Those are the only three fundamentals that everybody needs to start with. Now, again, if your business is further ahead, you're making a lot of money, well, great, you got other options, right? But those are the things. So let's talk about the target market. The niche will make you an expert. So if you're targeting only entrepreneurs, you're targeting only chiropractors, if you're targeting only salespeople, you're targeting um, massage therapists, et cetera, you become an expert in that market. So here are the four questions you should ask about your target market. Do they have money? Don't go to sell to homeless people because they don't have money. Is the market growing, right? So if people are targeting real estate and agents and, uh, and loan offices right now, their market is shrinking as long as, unless they have an option for them to do something different, right? Number, two, number three is, are they easily accessible? Can you get their phone number, email address? Can you directly message them? What can you do? Can you knock on their door, for example? Can you access those people directly? And the last question is, do they have awareness that they have a problem and they see the need urgently to solve the problem? Like weight loss, people say, hey, I need to lose weight. I'm going to be going to a reunion. So I need to be in good shape, you know, whatever that is, right? Or people are saying, hey, I need to be retiring in a few years. I need to be able to make sure that I'm saving enough money, whatever that is, right? I have an important uh, event coming up in my life. I need to be ready for it, whatever that is. People need to be aware that they have a problem and there is a need for them to solve the problem. Until you have all those four things, it's really not the right target market. Do you have a conscious plan on accessing that target market? So what stops us first is not having irresistible offers. Because irresistible offer is very simply something people take action on. What could that be? There are a number of things. Whatever you recently bought at some point was irresistible for you, right? That's how you have to look at it. Like I live in Florida here, the place I chose to live, it's like, yeah, this is the place I want to live, right? The car which I ended up buying, right? So on and so forth. It was irresistible at some point. And we as entrepreneurs need to communicate that whatever value we have through an irresistible offer. So why do we need an irresistible offer? If you're struggling to prospect, it gives you confidence to approach people. If you're feeling like you're begging people to do business with you, now you feel you are helping people. If you feel too salesy and can't close, the offer does the heavy lifting and people are grateful because they see that you are going to be able to help them. So ask yourself, do you have a conscious, clear plan to create an offer? And are you trying that offer in ways to make sure that offer is working for you? So what if your dream client was one offer away? What if your income was one offer away? And that offer could make the dramatic switch in your life. Okay, your dream client will look forward to talking to you because they now see you as an expert who's looking to help them. So let me ask you a question. How many of you are totally convinced now, at least to some degree to say, hey, let me evaluate my offer. Let me evaluate my offer. Like I want to know, is my offer really going to work for me? So God's word, there are two options. You can do that on your own or you can get help from somebody like me to design your irresistible offer, right? Okay. Here is what it is. Kim knows people who have a trainer who are coaches, you know that without a personal trainer, the person who 
you know, wants to achieve the result is not likely to achieve the result as they could. They'll either be not consistent, they'll either not know what to do, right? It's going to be knowledge, skill, consistency, accountability, and raising the bar, right? So here is a, my son is belonging to a cross-country team, and I'm so glad in the last year, he has made so much improvement because he's part of a team, he has accountability, and he's working with other people to improve his chances of being successful. So here are some examples. I worked with very successful people, one of my clients, uh, Terence Murphy, he's an ex-NFL player, came to me saying, hey, Minesh, I need to know how to do a better job in my business as a leader and a manager. I'm like, great. So over the course of period I did, now he has multiple business doing really, really well. And he started working with me like three, four years ago, right? So Jeremy Zen, who is in Oak Electric, not too far from you in Waterford, he earned six months of revenue in just one month. Called me and said, Vinesh, I want to give you good news. I made in one month last month what I had done in six months before. Lance Haas, you know, he just took one idea from a complimentary session. He didn't even pay for it. And he went and implemented the idea. He made like $20,000. I can keep going on and on about the businesses and people I've had, but bag lack of time, I don't want to go into detail on that part of it. Let me ask you, let me make an invitation. Would you like to evaluate your offer based on the proven 10-point checklist? Would you like to design an irresistible offer to make money now? How many of you feel that offer, if you had the right one, you could make more money by Christmas? You could make more money this year, 2023. So I have created a checklist so that you can evaluate your offer. Okay, what it is, in this is called a get clients mastery in 15 days. What you get is a step-by-step -step process to design an irresistible offer. You'll gain confidence in approaching every prospect that is right for you. You will close quickly and make money now. Okay, that is what you can get. And what you will learn in the process is what are the key components of an irresistible offer so you can go make it as many times as you want. How to position yourself as an expert and how to make prospects feel eager to work with you. How to price your products to make more money. That's what it will teach you. So here's what it is. I have designed and recorded a training based on irresistible offer using all those points that I mentioned. You'll have a checklist, a template. And after you've watched it, you have a one-on-one -on -one session with me so that you can actually review your offer with me, get my input to say, hey, this will work better for you. And that's really what I'm looking for is providing your input based on my experience of having worked with thousands of clients in the past. We'll give you specific examples, lead magnet, and if you are industry, whatever it is, I'll go help you find some which will be suitable for your business to attract the attention of the right prospect. We'll also talk about a script that you can use to reach your market now. I have a 59-point checklist video course on how I attracted successful and wealthy clients, about 207 of those who are million-dollar earners. And then some people are like, hey, Minesh, I don't know how to sell. I don't know how to overcome objections. Great. I have a script with you for you. I also, also have done a recording so that you know when people give you an objection, what are the ways to overcome that? And today, that whole thing is only $97. Now, here is the bad part. Your money is totally refundable. You get your money back. <laughs> You're like, Manish, what do you mean by that? <laughs> so let me explain this to you. All you have to do is watch the recording, design your offer, review your offer with me in one-on-one -on -one conversation, Go try the offer with in front of a few people by the end of the month, October 31st. I would say at least 10 people. Come back to me, report your results and feedback. If you got no value from it, I want your feedback. If you got great value from it, give me your testimonial and you get all your $97 back. Now you might be like, Minesh, what catch is there? Well, there are only six parts and it ends today. Okay. Sorry, Minesh, but... there's only five because I've, I've got... Uh -oh. Oh, well, well, Steve is gone, so I, I need to make sure. Here is the reason. I want you to be my next success story. Your trust and referrals are more important than $97 for me at the game where I'm at in life, right? I want to show you how to create an irresistible offer to start relationship in your market. If you're new or if you're launching something new, fantastic. If you already have a product or service, I can help you enhance it to the next level. Here is the bottom line. The more you are seen as a giver, the better quality of clients you will attract. That is the most important part for you that you should remember. So to get access to the project, uh, to get clients now mastery 15 day package for a refundable $97 and only six parts. And here is the link. I'll keep that on the screen for a moment. And uh, what I will do is I can actually, uh, if I can, let me do this. Let me put the link as well in the, uh, Stop share here. 
Give me a second here. Let me get you the link here and put it in the chat as well. And then I'll open it up for question and answers or whatever people have. So we'll go ahead. Just a quick show of hands here. Who feels that they already have an absolutely irresistible offer for their business, for prospects? Raise your hand if that's you. Wow, what a gap. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're interested in having that amazing offer. Yeah, that's wonderful. Improve your business, everybody. Improve your business. Improve your results. Manesh, back to you. Yeah, so don't wait. Just click on the link. There are not too many spots, so go ahead and take advantage of it. And you might be like, Manesh, why can't cause a limit? Very simple, my time, right? Okay, my time is limited, number one. And obviously, I'm not making any money on this, so I'm not going to make free forever because I have to make money as well. But what I'm looking for is people who are serious enough to take some action who are saying, hey, you know what? I want to improve because what I have found in my business and I'm sure you will find in your business, the only people who will get the results are people who are emotionally invested in getting results. Have you seen that yet? The only people who will get results working with you are people who are emotionally invested. And the people who are emotionally invested usually are the ones who have to put in the time, money, energy to do it. So Kim, for example, if somebody wants to lose weight, if you gave away everything for free, they had to do no pay no money, never come to a gym or anything like that, how likely are they going to have that commitment to even change anything? Uh, not very likely. Not very likely. But sometimes with, with health and fitness, sometimes not very likely even when they pay because their mindset has to be right too. So it's a... So that's why you need money and energy, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah, you don't need just money, which is exactly the reason that my my criteria is you have to pay the money, but you also have to show up, right? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right? Because if they don't show up, what is the likelihood of them changing anything? Nothing. And I know this will help, so that's not the question. Just like Kim knows, if they work with you, it will help them, won't it? Exactly, you worked with enough people to know the background as well. So good, so anybody else has any questions, clarification that you need in order for... Uh, you to be able to apply the concept in your business. Hey, it doesn't look like we have any questions, but Manesh, some wonderful comments about you in the chat. Obviously, many people here already know who you are. I know that you've got an opportunity to really help a lot of people grow their business to the next level. And let's put our hands together and thank Manesh for a great presentation uh, today and helping us get our wheels turning again, regarding offers. Manesh, we appreciate you greatly. I also want us to put our hands up for Kevin Sabowski and for Penny Wilson for their presentations earlier today, and also for the great job that you guys all did with our networking sessions. Um, you guys did a fantastic job with that. I'm gonna put a little poll on the screen right now. It's a little exit survey that I'm hopeful that you'll be able to take for me. This is totally anonymous, so nobody's gonna know what your answer is, but I'm looking forward uh, to getting your answer. There's just three questions on this poll. Uh, if you could please do me a favor and burn through those. I've got a little scorecard here that's showing me uh, how many people are completing them, what people like better, is the speakers, the networking sessions, where did you get value in the presentations? And are you going to do the next Referraltopia? I sure hope so. You know, Referraltopia is one of our signature events, like our golf outing and like the breakfast. It's another way that we can support you. Yeah, so Steve, uh, uh, Trisha is here as well. So I didn't know she was going to be able to join us. So Trisha, thanks for joining us as well and giving me a great testimonial that you sent to me. Absolutely. I'm signed up. 97, baby. Watch out, you guys. I'm about to explode. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Trisha. Does anybody else have any comments or anything else you would like to go ahead, Scott? So oh, I'm trying to do the link and it's not allowing me to uh, to get in there. Every time I do it, it says it's, it's uh, not secure and it won't let me go any further. Got to unmute there, Manesh. Sorry about that. Uh, so text me or email me or put your email here and I will make sure that I send something to you. Okay. What's your phone number, Manesh? So I can put that. In oh, yeah, I can put it here right now. 248-866-0063. If you're having a problem with the link, then uh, let me know. 
Okay, hey, uh, let me take a look around the room here very quickly. Um, Scott Brown, what's your positive takeaway from attending Referraltopia today? I really like the breakout sessions. That was my favorite part. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to have a tiny breakout session here tonight at the Falling Warehouse amongst uh, all y'all. Okay, great. Yeah, it's not too late to be a part of the Folding Warehouse. So if you've been on the fence, please be a part of that. David Kelly, this might be your first referral topia. What's your positive takeaway from today? Whoops, you got to unmute there, David. Well, my only, the one I got to see was pennies for the most part, because, you know, I unfortunately didn't lock myself off in a, in a, my own little cubby hole and not have patience. But yes, we need to do even more. I blocked myself out, but they still walk in anyways. Penny Wilson did a wonderful job. So good to know her and uh, the, the offering that she had to come on out, wear your boots. Wonderful. So awesome. yes, wish I could make it in Ann Arbor. I'm headed to Ohio later tonight, seeing my folks. So well, thank you, David. David Livingston, yeah. Commerce Hearing Center. Let's go over to Patrick Collins. Uh, CirrusNet veteran, 12 plus years in CirrusNet. I don't know how, I think you've attended all but one referral topia. Uh, what's your positive takeaway from this one? You know, I I always love all of it. I mean, the, the both the one-on-ones and the speakers. Um, you know, it's, I've I've heard all three of the speakers before in different capacities and, and I always take away some, some new uh, little tidbits from them all. Um, but you know the the one on ones are, are are really where it's at in Sarasnet. So it's good to to meet some of the people that are in other groups or not members even potentially, and and get to know them a little better. Amen, amen. Patrick, you're an awesome networker. He takes the SHOA from your IT, everybody. Let's jump <laughs> over to Amanda Gavalier. It's your first referral, Topia. Uh, what's your positive takeaway from your experience? Actually, I've been to a referral topia oh, before, and that's how I got tuned into Kevin Sabosky and started taking his courses. So, um, you know, I guess I love everything about referral topia. I like the intermediate, like the, the the stuff going on on the side in the chat. I like the speakers. I like um, all of it. So, awesome! Thank you so much, and I'm glad you were able to do both referral topias this year. Previously. Referral Topia was just done once a year, but now we're going to be doing it every March and October. Uh, yeah, I think it was the timing of when I joined. So yeah. awesome. I love it. Okay. Does anybody else have a positive takeaway that you'd like to share uh, with our audience today as we are ready to kind of wrap things up? Well, I just want to mention very clearly that uh, thanks to you, Steve, you have put together a group of people who are givers by nature, who are definitely caring you have that energy about you, and I know you personally very well now. So I'll tell you, we attract the people we are, right? Like Penny said. So I'm glad to know you and obviously the community here. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll appreciate you. Thank you so much, everybody. Scott, Thank Dave, you have some... go ahead, Renee. I'm sorry. Got cut off there. I was just saying thank you. It's a really great program. And I know I had some hiccups, but I'm happy I was able to join. And Manish, I wish it was the right time in my life. I so want your offer, but I can't take a spot. I just can't if you only have six of them right now. But I do want to talk to you sometime. Please feel free. Yeah. Got to you. No, I just wave it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Scott Lee. <laughs> Got oh, you no three next to each other. <laughs> so I just I just wanted to say for everybody that's on here, this is either my 13th or 14th year in CirrusNet. Um, oh. The amount of people that I've met and worked with and uh, collaborated with over the years. And if you ever need anything, obviously you can always go to our group first. Steve is the man uh, with uh, with all the uh, all the connections. Thank you so much. Hey, anybody else have a positive takeaway you want to share before we call it a day? Steve, Thank I just want to. Oh, what um, with with my comments before, and I I really want to see Manesh, and I know you recorded it, and you probably already went over it. It's going to be recorded, and we're going to be able to access it again. I'm sure. So yes, I don't want to take any more of the time. I'm sure I missed that part. Yep, uh, on the CirrusNet website, there's a resources tab. If you go down to Referraltopia, I have replays of every Referraltopia talk that's ever been done. 
And of course, the three that are being done today will be added to that. Trisha, what you got? I would like to say, I don't want to bore you guys all with my repeat story if you were at the breakfast, but Manesh is a dear friend of mine, and uh, I'm very grateful, Steve, that you connected us. And I've I've received um, the 45% increase in revenue in my business, uh, purchased my dream home with some other serious matters. Uh, so I... And, and working on my private pilot's license. And I'm really excited. I had no idea that there was going to be an offer, of course, Manesh. So I will be now a paid client. So I can't wait to see how this offer 10x is my, my wicked goals already. And I will be just as loud about that success, success Manesh. And uh, presenters did a great job. Uh, that's the first time I heard Penny Wilson. Uh, but of course, Kevin Sabosky, he's in, he's in the 10 a.m., Brighton group that I'm in. So um, yeah, you guys all did a wonderful job. Thank you. Thanks, Trisha. Thanks everyone for your support of Sent With Love. It's It'll make a difference in bringing hope to hurting families. So um, also, if, uh, Trisha, there is an airstrip about 300 yards from my home here um, in Orange County, Florida. So when you get that private pilot's license, would be, would love to have you come here and fly. Um, and then also um, uh, we're starting up a CirrusNet group in the Orange County, Florida uh, area. It'll likely be a hybrid and would love to talk with you about that. If anyone is interested, um, maybe you have some snowbirds in your life that would like to talk about it. Oh, cool. Thanks, everybody. And just a quick thing, uh, I met Jennifer Rice at a Referraltopia. So it's amazing what can come just from doing a Referraltopia. Uh, okay, anybody else? Okay, you guys were absolutely awesome today. If you're a SiriusNet member of mine, I always close my SiriusNet meetings with, don't forget to take your team with you. It's one of the advantages we have to offering value to our clients and separating ourselves is by moving from the, re, uh, the transaction zone into the relationship zone. And you guys are experts at that. I look forward to seeing you at our next event. You guys were awesome today. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Kevin and Manesh. And to all of you who participated in making today great. And I hope you have an awesome time at the Folding Warehouse later today. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Yep. Take care. Thank you, everybody. See you, everybody. You rock, Steve. Thank you, Jennifer. You rock, too. We all rock. Yes, you do. <laughs>